For those of you with your cell phones, if you could just do me a favor, put them on silent. The stock market does not open until 6.30 Monday morning, so your broker doesn't need to speak to you right now. Now, I don't know how much folks know about the Secretary of State. It's not the same Secretary of State job that we have in Washington, D.C. The Secretary of State does not travel around the country as a diplomat for the state of Idaho. In fact, they have some very important functions. There's three main functions. The first one are business services like annual registrations, trademarks and filings and things like that related to the businesses. The second one are government services like healthcare directives, the registries and will registries. And there's a little fun fact here that the Secretary of, Secretary of State will help you with address confidentiality. Now, for those of you who are tired of getting a lot of direct mail, spam phone calls, and emails, this will not help you. <laughs> this is for victims of domestic violence, sexual assault, and other types of violence where people have to stay safe and have an anonymous address. And it's actually set up kind of interesting where the mail goes to certain facilities for these people, and then that facility bundles it and forwards it over to the folks who are supposed to get it. So it's very confidential at that point. And then the third main function that the Secretary of State performs are our elections. The filings, the reporting, and the certifications. Now, this is a big deal, because we know what happened in 2020. We saw the shenanigans. I frankly couldn't believe it. Seven counties in this country, it appears, which are outcome of our election. And we saw all of the irregularities. We saw money like Zuckerbucks coming into various counties. Unfortunately, that happened here in Idaho. We had a lot of dead people voting. And so it's very important that the Secretary of State can maintain the integrity of our elections. So I want to go over real quick the ground rules here tonight. For those of you looking for an MMA cage fight, <laughs> it's not going to happen. That's actually at the Coeur d'Alene Casino. So if you want to go there, I think if you leave now, you could get there before the bell rings. Um, tonight, we're going to be respectful and we're not going to interrupt the candidates. Everyone is here to listen to the answers. And so if we interrupt, or show lack of respect, it kind of ruins it for everybody. So I respectfully ask that everyone show their respect to the candidates and the other people in the audience. When it comes to questions, you can submit questions. There are some ladies here who have, raise your hands, who will take your questions, write them out, and they will give them up to me, and I will read the questions. And don't write questions of when did you stop beating your husband or your child or anything like that, because we won't ask that. Now, we all know about politics, like relationships and religion. It can be very emotional, so it's very important to just kind of keep things toned down tonight. <clears throat> each candidate, and here's the format, each candidate will be given five minutes for their opening statement. When, after the opening statement, I'm going to have a, well first we'll start off with a coin toss. The winner of the coin toss will start with our opening statement, and the loser of the coin toss will end first with their closing statement. Each candidate will be given three minutes to answer a question, and then for closing statements when we're done, you'll have five minutes to make your closing statements. So, let's go ahead and let me just make sure, are these questions for specific individuals, or can I ask for both? That's right. So we, the three minutes, so Aaron is going to, she's right there, maybe up front. At two minutes and 30 seconds, she'll raise her hand. That'll give you notice that you have 30 more seconds to answer. Does anyone have any questions on stage? Yes, Mary. On the campaign trail, at certain stops, you get one minute. Now, 
just before we start, it might be worth just testing the microphones to make sure they work. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, okay. yes, yes. All right, so I'm going to flip the coin. Can you confirm that this coin is a heads and a tails? <laughs> We have to make sure, have one of you call them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll do it one more time. Who would like to call her one time? Like Dorothy said, she is from outside this area. Dorothy, <laughs> what would you like? Go ahead. Hales. Hales? And what is that? It's Tails. Got it. So, Dorothy, you will, you will start off with the opening statement. And, and you've got a timer? 